Good day, everybody. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, I am out here in uh, Dominican Republic. Let me give you a view of where I am. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes. So, I'm here in the Dominican Republic and um, you know, I thought I'd get on here and talk to you guys about mental health. You know, it's a lot of things going on these days. Um, a lot of people suffering from mental health and and your mind is, is really, it's important as far as health is concerned. You know, your emotions, your stress, your, um, the things that you deal with every day, the things you think about every day, all this stuff is mental health and what happens is um, the mental is is directly directly involved with the health of the body the physical body so you know how they say um, mind body and soul well it's all connected it's all one um, holistic health talks about the body as a whole and that also includes mind body and health it's a relationship that is directly related so you know a lot of times you know I'm, I'm out here thinking about how serene it is how relaxing it is and sometimes you have to do these things sometimes you have to get out you have to go and have me time 30 minutes a day however you can get it in every single day you have to have some me time you have to get out there and um, relax relax your mind relax your body and just give yourself give yourselves a break so um, mental health is important you know we don't realize that a lot of the symptoms that we have physically are related to issues that we might have dealt with in the past that we're still harboring that we're still holding on to maybe something that happened tragedy that happened within you know months or even years that can still affect the body physically so you know we got to take that into consideration and take into consideration that every organ in your body is related to um, an emotion um, and i'll give you an example you know um, the heart is related to um, joy the liver is um, related to anger um, the kidney is related to worry and stress so we have to understand that when we go through things like that it causes physical damage on the inside if we're harboring anger all the time and it can be a um, a chain reaction a chain reaction of symptoms that you might not even realize is happening because of these emotions that you're harboring um, so you know how they say um, this person died of a broken heart well it can happen you know their their loved one dies and they're so heartbroken that they actually can pass away as well uh, they can't deal with that emotional um, th that pain of, of emotionally being you know upset or sad or you know all of that um, so you guys have to find the time to get out there and enjoy life like deal with your emotions if you if you can't deal with your emotions by yourself make sure you find somebody that can help you get through what it is that you're getting going through sometimes people don't really realize that they're going through something until until you ask them questions and you you dig deeper into what it is that's going on with them what it is that's happening or happened in their lives you know a lot of times uh, people are traumatized when they're younger um, and there's a lot of that going around that uh, as a as adults you know we go back to our childhoods and think about what it is that we've dealt with in our childhood that you know we might still be dealing with as adults you know some things that we do um, as adults we're wondering why do we do these things do we get them from our parents you know were we taught these things 
you know, why is it that somebody's an introvert or why is it that somebody, you know, is uh, an extrovert? Maybe because, you know, they, they were yelled at as a child or, you know, they were, you know, not able to go out or not able to do certain things as a child and they were, they were um, harboring these things even as they grew into adulthood. So mental health is really, really important. Um, and, and I stress a lot of times that, you know, you need to find time to have me time. You know, the 30, 30 minutes a day, get out there, do something that relaxes you. It's a de-stress. It's, it's a way to um, get yourself to de-stress. It's a, it's a way to find time to just kind of breathe and let it go. You know, if it's meditating, if it's um, doing some yoga or even taking a nice hot bath and just closing the door to everybody inside your house and just relaxing. Um, my stress relief is working out. You know, I love to work out and that's, that's what allows me to de-stress. I love getting in the gym, working out, you know, having that me time. Even if I'm with somebody else and I'm working out with them, that's still my me time. That's still my de-stress time. And uh, you just got to find a way and find something that you love to do um, and do it. You know, don't allow anybody to tell you that you can't have your me time. Don't allow anybody to come and tell you that um, you need to just keep working. You know, you need that time. Um, and stress, one of the fa foundations and fundamentals of um, health is stress relief or managing, being able to manage stress, as well as sleep, which they go hand in hand, you know? Um, if you're stressed, sometimes people aren't sleeping properly, your body's not able to detoxify, um, and stressing causes more acid in the body, uh, which causes diseases and illnesses. So they go hand in hand. The foundations of health, which are food, of course, water, of course, then you go to um, air, fresh air, sunshine, because of vitamin D. We all need vitamin D. Stress, sleep, and um, supplements, and exercise. You know, those are the foundations of health that we talked about, I talked about the other day on my, my, my live, you know. So get out there and um, find time for yourself. Find the time, because Things can build up over time, you know. Our bodies are very smart. They, um, the, the body actually is in survival mode, you know, all the time. It's on the defense all the time. And we don't realize that our bodies have been, um, our bodies have been compensating for our misuse over time, you know, as far as uh, the way we eat, the environment that we keep, what our mind thinks about uh, dumps acids into our body. So it actually has been compensating for so long that, you know, over time, you know, all of a sudden, you know, something happens and you're, you're, you're wondering what happened. All of a sudden I turned 30 or I turned 40 and I started having these aches and pains or I started having these symptoms. And the reason why is because your body just, it can't do it anymore. It's saying to itself, you know, I can't do this anymore. I've, you know, tried to put survival mode on for years and years and, um, you know, nothing has changed. So here's this aches and pains, here's these symptoms, here's this stuff that's going on, but you gotta find the root cause of the problem. And the, usually the root cause of the problem is not even related to the symptom of where you're feeling the pain or where you're feeling these, you know, these, the, the stuff, the illnesses is not related at all to what's going on in the body. It could be you have, you know, heartache from, from years of tragedy or years of, of, of something going on and then you have a symptom that's a headache or your knee hurts or something like that so it's not related to the heart so you don't really realize that um, that's where it's coming from so you really have to dig deep into how 
to figure out where it's coming from. So, you know, with that being said, um, root cause of the issue, a lot of times it's emotional. Uh, dig deep into your emotions and see what's going on and, and why it happened and have you been harboring it for a long period of time and then try to deal with that. Try to deal with the emotions by talking to other people, um, going to see a therapist, a counselor, whoever, you know, whoever and however you need to get it done. Find some me time for yourself, relax, um, get out and uh, enjoy life, you know, and um, see the world. See the world however you can and uh, enjoy life. So with that being said, I win here, uh, AKA Israel win. Um, don't forget, go to my YouTube channel, which is um, I win wellness and my Instagram, I win nutrition and Israel win and follow me on all the social media platforms so that you can get more information about your health um, because it's important and, and mental health is important too. So take care, have a great day and I'll see you guys soon.